How scared are you about not being able to implement what you do? Um, I haven't really thought about it because I don't know, like, it's already so easy to get depressed in the line of work that I do. I mean, there's such a thing as environmental depression, which is scientists that are working with endangered species and endangered ecosystems get depressed from seeing what's happening. So I really don't think about being scared of whether or not it's going to work. I just focus on trying to make it work, if that makes sense, because that's sort of like my way of coping with it. Does that make sense? You've got depressed before, haven't you? Huh? You've got depressed before? Well, I don't want to say that because there's people that have legitimately like oh, so yours been, di legitimate. been diagnosed with depression. But it no, it's hundred percent depressing. I mean, if you go out to the same spot every single day for two years and then all of a sudden in a matter of weeks it's like all dead. It's pretty shocking and can make anyone depressed, I reckon. <laughs> it's really fucking sad, isn't it? It is sad, I'm sad. Yeah, sorry. I depressed people. Sorry! <laughs> jokes, jokes, jokes. No, but that's the thing, it's like... I've never heard of that, that people that work with extinct species or, yeah. you know, going out there and seeing it. When you saw the coral reef go all white, what did that feel like? Oh, shit. Because <laughs> you can't do anything about it. It's like literally you're just watching it happen. There is literally nothing that you can do. Because it's just, it's a, you can't stop a marine heat wave. But what we're thinking of is, well, we can try and help or stop it from happening in the future, if that makes sense. Yeah. Or as many corals from dying in the future. That's sort of what we're thinking of. But yeah, definitely that feeling of helplessness associated with it. <laughs>